Hello once again and welcome to my drawing channel. I'm Robert Eisler Wonka and I shall start a drawing. Um, an interesting scene as all of them are. I begin as always very lightly, drawing very lightly, not pressing down too hard on my pencil. And I think that's a 4B, yes it is, it's a 4B pencil. And I am drawing some simple shapes very lightly in place. You already saw I got a glimpse of uh, what, it, what it is I'm working on, so um, now you're seeing how it's all built up. Structure, piece, step, shape by shape. Here I'm adding a person into the, uh, into the drawing. This will be a person. But again, as you can see, very, very rough and very, very loose. Moving right along, I'm beginning to define it a little more. Using the side of my pencil, of course, allows me to move not just quickly, but it also allows me to draw very lightly and soft edges, soft edges. You'll see me flipping my pencil back and forth eventually, where I'm adding, uh, using the point of the pencil to add in some details. And here I am, actually, you can see step two, where I'm beginning to actually define the shapes a little more. Now, moving right along into step three, we are shading. And of course, shading creates the mood of the drawing and separates the light, or rather you have light on dark, dark on light. And that's what's going on here right now. You'll see that quite effectively being applied. Stopped here halfway through because I need a spout, a water spout. Of course, this is supposed to be an ancient well. And uh, I've got the spout in, I've got the water pouring down and continuing my shading. Stairs, got to define those a little bit. Then the side, you see I've got um, the lady's dark skirt. On the flip side, on the left hand side, I put some dark uh, on the uh, bottom part of the well structure. And of course shading all around. This is the wall, the back wall. And of course here's exact, a perfect example of light on dark, dark on light effects being applied, as well as textural effects, some brickwork and so on. But it's this uh, dark on light, light on dark thing. Uh, and I'm uh, using the point of my pencil there, you saw that, to uh, hit some really dark, sharp areas. And again, soft and hard edges. That's what's going on here. Right now there's some darks going on, but the soft and hards are what draw the eye to a particular place where the viewer or where you want to draw the viewer's attention to. I'm continuing to shade here. And... Uh, Yes, all moving along rather nicely. Down in this area, I'll add a little brickwork. And that again is a wonderful piece as well. All these textural effects really add to it. As you can see, I'm moving them along, moving them along in, in sort of soft edges, not using the point of the pencil too much for that kind of stuff. But then again, in the bucket, you can see me flipping that back and forth, side to point, and uh, you get some really nice effects. A little bit on the ground, defining that some more. And of course, out comes the eraser. Here's where you hit the highlights. You're erasing some of the smudges that I'd put in there, or I am, and uh, I'm now continuing with that. As you can see, a little bit of an effect, some weathering effects, kinks in the stone. And uh, the eraser, you can get some great effects with that. I'm sort of cleaning up here. You can see I'm just adding in details and darkening, really hitting the darks actually, because that's where, what you want. You want your contrasts. Dark against light, light against dark plays the game out beautifully here. We're almost done, we're almost done. I'm just giving it the final touches. Signage is imminent. But as you can see, I'm continuing just a little bit here and a little bit there. I hope you enjoyed my drawing as always, and please, if you found it very interesting, subscribe. Until next time, keep your pencil sharp and keep practicing.